There is um, the, some land which was degazetted by His Excellency the President. We hear that that uh, that, that, that land is a, a map for an airport. If you can just check just behind you there, there's a, there's a small map there. Central provinces is, is actually it has a lot of potential for agriculture, and certainly there could be cargo flights, airlifting produce from here. Uh, taking it to the international airport and also maybe other parts of Zambia. So there's nothing wrong with having a bigger airport around Kabul or Central. Civil Aviation Authority in Zambia has challenged Kabul Municipal Council to protect the only existing airstrip in Kabul from illegal land dealers who have invaded the district. Civil Aviation Authority Director General Mr. Gabriel Lesa made this appeal when the entourage from Civil Aviation Authority visited the district. Um, like the board chair said, I think what we would want to see is basically that this place can be uh, fenced off and um, the windsock hoisted and put so that it gives a, a wind direction aid to the pilots. Then we noticed uh, at the very far end there, there is a, a, a very big depression, which is becoming like a watch catch, uh, water catchment terrain. We've noted that uh, I think it will become an attractant for birds and some small wildlife. So in terms of wildlife safety around the airport, uh, I think it's, it's not very good. We've seen cattle grazing, like uh, the chair mentioned. This looks like a grazing ground that, that, that actually cause for more caution to stop people from actually accessing the runway but also animals that's why fencing would be actually preferred even the simple fencing reporting for movie tv news i'm aparinson snalungo in kabwe